Hello, this is Sarah from Emerald Dreams and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a round of tapping or EFT. Now, when you're doing tapping, okay, we use your fingertips and we tap on particular areas on your hand and on your head and face. Now, when you tap in, you tap with um, either hand, okay, it doesn't make a difference whether you're left or you're right handed, whatever is comfortable for you. And you, you want to tap so that you can feel it, but obviously I don't want any bruises um, or any dents going on while you're following my video. So gently, okay, just so that you can feel it um, and that you know that you're, you're tapping on those particular points. Now, you can use your left or right hand, as I said, and or you can actually use both hands at the same time if you prefer. There isn't a, a right or a wrong, whatever you feel comfortable doing while you're tapping, okay? Now, um, the points that we're going to use this afternoon are your karate chop point, which is this point here on the, the side of your, your hand. We're going to be using the inside of your, your wrists, so generally um, I tap like this. The top of your, your head, so round about the crown, okay? The inside of your eyebrow, so where your eyebrow starts nearest to your nose. The outside of your eyebrow, so where your eyebrow finishes or where your glasses would sit. Your um, cheekbone, alright, so just underneath your eyes. Underneath your nose, so in between your, your nose and your top lip. Cleft of your chin, so in between your chin and your upper, uh, your lower lip, sorry, and also your collarbone. And what we do when we're doing a, a round of EFT in this, um, video I'm going to presume that you are in some kind of physical pain okay um, and I'm going to choose a headache now all I want you to do is it might be worthwhile watching the video the first time around just to give you an idea um, of, of what you're going to do but I want you to then substitute the word headache for whatever pain you are working on at the moment so whether it's back pain whether it's sore throat urate anything that you're working on just substitute headache for whatever your uh, pain is I also want you just to close your eyes for a few moments, check in with your body and check to see how bad that pain is at the moment and give it a, um, a range of between uh, 0 and 10. So 0 would be no pain whatsoever and then 10 would be absolutely excruciating. So I'm going to say just for this example that my headache is around about an 8 out of 10 and it's sitting here at the front of my forehead, okay, just above my eyes. So. What I want you to do is I want you to repeat after me uh, the words, filling in the blank, and so instead of uh, filling in headache, I want you to fill in whatever your problem is um, and tap as we go along, okay? So starting on the crafty chart point, okay, I want you to say, even though I have this headache, I accept myself completely. Even though I have this headache, I accept myself completely. Even though I have this headache, I accept myself completely. Now I want you to tap on the top of your head, okay, and say this headache. The inside of your eye point, and say this headache. The outside of your eye, this headache. Underneath your eye, this headache. Under your nose, this headache. Cleft of your chin, this headache. Collarbone, this headache. And then wrists together, this headache. And then take a lovely deep breath and breathe it out. And then I want you to check in on that pain. So has that changed in any way, shape or form? Alright, has it gone lower down the scale? Hopefully. But sometimes it may not, it may go up first before it'll go down. So just check in, how has that pain changed at all? Now if you've got any uh, remaining pain, okay, or so any remaining headache or back pain, shoulder pain, whatever it is, we need to do another couple of rounds maybe. So we're going to start again, all right, the side of your hand. Even though I've still got some headache pain, I accept myself anyway. Even though I've still got some of this remaining headache, I accept myself anyway. 
even though I've still got this headache, I accept myself anyway. And then on the top of your head, this remaining headache. On the inside of the eye, this remaining headache. On the outside of the eye, this remaining headache. Under the eye. This remaining headache. This remaining headache. The left of your chin. This remaining headache. And your collarbone. This remaining headache. And then this together. This remaining headache. A deep breath in and then breathe it out. And once more, check in with your body, check in what's happening to that pain. Now, as you're tapping around you, you're on the different points, you don't have to keep with that one phrase, okay? So, this headache, remaining headache. You can actually change things and be quite specific about what you're saying about your, your physical pain. So, for example, we could say, my headache. My headache is about an 8 out of 10. My headache is above my eyes. It's sitting above my forehead. My headache. It's been really bad all afternoon. I wish my headache would go away. My headache's about an 8 out of 10. My headache in my forehead. And then take a deep breath in and breathe out. So you need to be quite specific when you tap in, all right? Rather than just saying, my pain, get actually check in with your body and describe your pain as much as you can, all right? The more you describe your pain, the better results you're going to get. And you just tap until your pain comes down the, the scale. Hopefully you'll get to zero, all right? But if not, it'll definitely come down for you. Now, um, there may be occasions when we need to, to work a little bit deeper, but that's just a, a general um, first time round for you. Give it a go and let me know how you get on. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.